Transcriber gives you the power of AI to create transcriptions and subtitles for your videos. Download a free trial today right from the FX Factory application. Transcriber is a standalone application. I'll launch the app and choose New Session. Here, I can drag a source file to transcribe. In this case, I'll drag another FX Factory tutorial video. In this setup screen, you can play or skim through the video file and see some file info at the top. On the right, you can import an existing SRT subtitle file for review or editing, but I'd like to generate a new transcription. The language of the video is set to Auto Detect. I'll choose English to give the AI less to think about. Under Advanced Settings, I'll choose to pre-process the audio since this video has both dialogue and music. This will take a little longer, but will improve the accuracy of the transcription as the AI will listen through first to determine where the dialogue is and then create a second pass for transcription. You can uncheck this option if your video is dialogue only, like an interview or podcast. Below this is single word mode, which will create a single word on each line of the transcription. Use this as a stylistic effect to create videos with single words on screen. Next, Transcriber defaults to split the subtitle lines on commas, semicolons, and colons. It's recommended to leave this on. You might end up creating more lines than you need, but it's easy to merge them if you need to. More on that in a minute. Finally, you have the option to translate the video to English if the video is in a different language. This is a powerful option if you need to create subtitles for an English-speaking audience. I'll click Transcribe to start the process. This takes a little time, but moves pretty quickly on my M1 Max MacBook Pro. When it's done, we'll see the transcription window. I'll go ahead and save the document so I can edit the transcription as necessary. I can toggle between the timed subtitle view or a flat text-only view. It's super easy to review the video and edit the text as needed by simply clicking and editing. The transcription did a surprisingly good job with the proper names, like brand names. Branding-wise, we spell FX Factory differently than this transcription, so I'll do a quick search and replace to correct this throughout the transcription. I can filter the transcription by the yellow dot, which represents subtitles that will be automatically split by the application, or the orange dot, which shows you lines that are longer than your preference in session settings. It's easy to split lines in the text by clicking the three-dot menu and choosing a split option. You can also merge lines of text using this menu. In session settings, you can set your preferences for everything. Under subtitles, you can set your max lines and max characters per line preferences. Under Final Cut Pro Export, you can choose the look of the subtitles themselves by changing the font, font size, color, stroke color and width, and the baseline, which is where the subtitles appear at the bottom of the picture. I'll change the export option to Send Directly to Final Cut Pro. Back in the main window, let's click Export. Here you can choose which format to export to, including a simple text file, an SRT subtitle file, which can be uploaded alongside your video to YouTube and social media. I'll click Export for Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Pro will launch and ask which library you'd like to import into. I'll choose a new one. There is a timeline with the subtitles imported as text files, timed to the video. You can edit them individually or all together as Final Cut Pro text effects. It's that easy to transcribe subtitles and edit them as needed. This used to take hours to do by hand, or you'd have to hire a transcription service. Transcriber is a must-have application if you're a video editor or content creator. Create with a wide range of great video effects at fxfactory.com.